Yes. I have now the honor to introduce Her Excellency, Mrs. Jet Busmaker, Minister of Education, Culture and Science of Net the Netherlands. Thank you very much. Mr. President of the General Conference, Mr. President of the Executive Board, Madam Director General, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. As a Dutch Minister of Education, Culture and Science, I'm speaking to you today on behalf of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. And I would like to start to bring my compliment to Director General Irina Bogova for her leading role in successfully positioning UNESCO's work, particularly in the fields of education, Goal 4, Gender Equality and the Empowerment of Women and Girls, Goal 5, at the heart of the new 2030 Agenda, as it links peace, security and sustainable development. Today, I would like to focus on three topics. All three are essential cornerstones of a healthy and democratic society. And all three are bound by the overarching team to protect what is valuable and vulnerable. The first is cultural heritage. The second is freedom of expression and journalism safety. And the third is respect for diversity and the rights of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender individuals. Let me start with the first topic, cultural heritage. Heritage determines our identities and can be considered the face of our nations. For precisely these reasons, it is shocking to see heritage on the front line of conflict. I attach great importance to UNESCO's leading role in putting the protection of cultural heritage high on the international agenda. UNESCO is tasked with coordinating this action. Cooperation within the UN, with and between member states and other strategic partners, including NGOs, is therefore essential. At a national level, we have to echo this broad cooperation. Allow me to share the example of the illicit traffic of cultural goods. To combat this, we need to cooperate on reliable evidence-based information and data collection. We call on UNESCO and its member states to make this part of our common goal. This brings me to my second point, the importance of freedom of expression, in particular the safety of journalists and other media workers. Independent media is the heartbeat of a properly functioning democracy. It is therefore unacceptable that journalists and other media workers are being threatened, harassed, physically attacked and even murdered because of their investigative work of their, on their opinions. At this moment, nine out of ten cases where journalists are murdered, the killers go unpunished. Two days ago, we commemorated the International Day to End Impunity for Crimes Against Journalists. And for the Kingdom of the Netherlands, the implementation of UNESCO's Plan of Action on the Safety of Journalists and the issue of impunity is of the utmost importance. The third vulnerability that we feel must be protected involves bullying, discrimination and violence towards pupils and students boys and girls on the ground of their actual or perceived sexual orientation and gender identity. During today's side event on addressing homophobic bullying at school, I met with colleagues from Sub-Saharan Africa, Southeast Asia, Latin America and Europe. It is promising to see that ministers of ed education are reporting progress in different regions of the world. They do so by developing evidence-based sexuality education, sharing good practices, and building strong communities. We made a pledge for next year's UNESCO stock-taking ministerial conference against homophobia and transphobia in education. In this respect, I would like to conclude this last subject by quoting UN Secretary General 
Ban Ki-moon, who said earlier, hatred of any kind must have no place in the 21st century. We must all raise our voices against attacks on lesbians, gay, bisexual, transgender, and intersex people. I agree fully with him. Mr. President, in the interest of peace and freedom around the world, UNESCO must be capable of operating effectively and de decisively on all these themes in order to transform vulnerability into strength. Doing so requires the active, active contribution of all UN organizations, member states and other strategic partners, including civil society organizations. To conclude, I would like to reiterate our message as a candidate for a non-permanent seat on the 2017-2018 Security Council. The Kingdom of the Netherlands is your partner for peace, justice and development. And thanks to UNESCO, there is growing awareness that security is not only about armed forces, but also about culture, cultural heritage, education and sustainable development. We want to take our international responsibility at all levels. Thank you.